Yo, 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 this is Stars with Magic, where we talk about the stars with magic. I'm magic. And today, this morning, or whenever it is that you watch the video, I'm talking about Mars and Virgo. Okay, so when it comes to Mars and Virgo, first of all, Mars is the physical drive, okay? It's action it's our physical energy it's kind of like um the way that we use our bodies um how we feel about our bodies um how we use our bodies and our energy to pursue our goals and dreams or um what it is that we desire in life okay also it has to do with um war and fighting um conflict how we deal with conflict um physical aggression and all of all of that okay now when we have mars and virgo okay virgo is the the sixth sign of the zodiac and it is most associated with um the stomach i'd want to say the the um the digestive system also it has to do with the way that i describe virgo is kind of like mercury internalized where gemini is um kind of like the the physical aspect or not the physical aspect but like the mental aspect of mercury well virgo is the physical aspect of mercury at least this is just how i see it um, and Virgo also has to do with kind of like, um, just the changeability of the earth. You know how we have elements on the earth or just things in the earth that change, you know, whether if this is like, um, natural disaster, I don't know. Well, anyway, so <laughs> basically just like the changeability of the earth. Okay. Um, all right. And it is one of the least easily understood signs of the zodiac okay we do have certain signs that are the most difficult to understand one of them is aquarius <laughs> the first one is aquarius okay the second one would have to be probably pisces the third would probably be virgo capricorn and then maybe some scorpio um but anyway so when it comes to mars and virgo my best example of Mars and Virgo would be somebody who is in they're kind of I'm not gonna lie they're a little bit insecure okay Mars and Virgo is a very productive Mars placement but it is a little bit uh they they can be very aware of their bodies, okay? A little bit more aware of their bodies than they would like, or at least than they can handle at times. Um, Any time that I've dealt with the Mars and Virgo, you know, they definitely were not the most outspoken of people, okay? But they were very productive, very active, very... Um, they never dressed in a way that was like over the top, okay? Mars and Virgo is a very understated placement and they can be very perfectionist in nature. I would have to say this is probably one of the most, the placements that are inclined towards achieving perfection. Mars and Virgo needs things to be perfect. They need the details to be covered, okay? These are excellent planners. These are uh, organizers. These might be people who um, have a lot to do with, like, let's say, um, let's say they get into arts and entertainment, right? Because you will see Mars and Virgo here. They might be the types to be on stage. Like, don't always think that because Mars is in Virgo, which is usually one of the most um, shy energies in the Zodiac, okay? It doesn't mean that they're not going to want the stage presence. In fact, I've seen a lot of people who were some of the best in their industry, 
with Mars in Virgo. All right, now, um, a lot of the time it does take time for Mars in Virgo to really acquire the support that they end up acquiring in life. <laughs> Okay, like for example, we'll have somebody who is been working in the industry, building their their network, building their um, organization or whatever. It might take time, but they really do reach their goals. Okay, this is not one of those um, Mars placements like a Mars in Cancer or Mars in Pisces, where they have a goal, then and they might or might not reach it in life, right? Now, like, forget the whole Mars in Cancer because these people do reach their goals. But I'm saying, like, maybe a Mars in Pisces. For sure. Mars in Pisces usually tend to be somewhat directionless in life. But the Mars in Virgo, as I said, they're some of the most productive people that you might ever meet. These people can work from... the beginning of the day to the end of the day like they they um and they work with like never faltering on the details never forgetting to cross every t dot every i make sure everything is exactly the way it needs to be and um this can actually be a very whoa <laughs> this can actually be a very productive i mean a very ambitious placement for mars now it's really interesting because i want to say when you see virgo under almost any other personal planet you never really see them you never really see virgo energy coming out like this okay mars and virgo is a very particular placement like like you know how sometimes you'll see uh, a mars or i mean a venus in Gemini person or a Venus in Aries or Venus in, in like any other Venus sign they'll have a lot of the same qualities as like a as like a Mars in Aries or a Mars in Gemini you know there will be a lot of similar qualities just in different ways however when you put Mars in Virgo it's like there's a certain side of Virgo that is brought out here um where even if even if like even if you wouldn't expect them to like the spotlight is what i'm trying to say they still become spokespeople or just people who are in the limelight like they're just they're they're is that like the right phrase limelight like whoops i don't know but you know spotlight whatever and um it's awesome it's awesome to watch because um I had a friend who had ascendant in Virgo and she was very much so and she was also sun in Pisces but she definitely did not <clears throat> um readily make her way to the center of attention you know um and other people that I've met you know sometimes they really don't necessarily want to have like the center spotlight however they'll be like a side uh, a side act you know a lot of the time mars and virgo might not feel like they deserve center stage but they want to um but they still find themselves like expressing themselves in these ways but they usually kind of take like a side a side seat or like the passenger seat you know where they're still kind of like in somewhat of a leadership position but they're not like the main one you know so that is something that i see so it's a very it's like it's an energy that's perfect for like um an assistant or you know somebody who is kind of like i mean honestly anybody could do well with mars and virgo because it, it it does add um a definite advantage when it comes to like leadership because you have the attention to details like it's like you pursue making sure that everything is in order so this is actually like a really great placement for mars you just wouldn't expect them to be as outgoing as they actually are but the thing is i would have to say that 
they can be very critical of the body. I feel like I just repeated myself for the first 10 minutes. Oh, well. But there is an awareness of a body that can be very, um, almost troubling at times, okay? Um, for example, there was this guy that I was really, really interested in and into for a long time. And I felt like he was like the one. Or I would have dreams about this person that would actually manifest like no joke like manifest and i think i kind of know why that stuff was happening but you know my point is um i was tight i was definitely paying attention to this person for a long period of time and i remember one time we were hanging out one on one and i was i have some like some cellulite and I had it back then as well. And um, I guess he noticed it, right? And so he pointed it out. He was like, what's that? And, um, you know, I got kind of upset, right? Because I was like, you know, why are you pointing out my flaws? Like, that's just not... It, it hurt my feelings. It put me on the spotlight in a negative light, okay? Mars and Virgo will do that. Mars and Virgo will, um, if they feel comfortable enough, they'll point out a flaw in their partner or their family or a friend. And they'll question the person. And a lot of the time, what they don't realize is that it comes off in a very negative way. Um, you know, people who are very sensitive to energy will pick up on the critique you know, they'll, they'll pick up on the, the, the level of, um, you know, just negative, negative energy surrounding, um, the body, you know, so dealing with somebody who has Mars and Virgo can make you feel very insecure. And the thing is they, they themselves are very insecure and very critical of themselves as well. Okay. This is what happens when you turn mercury whoops <laughs> when you turn mercury um towards the physical or when mercury is expressed physically or experienced physically the way virgo experiences it um and i want to say it's probably not even mercury that really rules virgo but but whatever anyways um Yeah, dealing with them can be very frustrating, right? Because a lot of the time, um, let's say you're really interested in this Mars and Virgo person. Um, let's say, you know, let's say it's a Mars and Virgo female or a Mars and Virgo man. The Their partner will just be trying to enjoy the Mars and Virgo's company. You know, they'll just be trying to relax, trying to have fun. And the Mars and Virgo will be scanning the person's body, looking for flaws, looking for imperfections, looking for things to that'll end up making the Mars and Virgo kind of like look down upon the other individual. And it's it can be one of the, the worst traits of Mars Virgo here because with Virgo here and Mars because or with Mars here and Virgo. Because, um, you know, Mars and Virgo probably does long for relationships, you know, long for partnership. And, and a lot of the time they do find those things. A lot of the time Mars and Virgo doesn't really have much of a, a problem attracting partners because they usually are not like, there's nothing physically off with them, right? They're, they're usually very clean. They're usually... A little bit lean as well you know um they're not very heavy and they they the thing about virgo is in any placement in any personal planet or star placement virgo will have a desire to seek physical perfection okay and they will have um it'll affect them mentally if their body is not somewhat in a state of perfection in their mind and so when it comes to mars like the fullness of their energy 
first focuses on their physical body. Okay, so these people, no matter what, they will have um, bodies that are not overweight, that are not, well, I would say that are not underweight, but you, but, you know, if badly aspected, if Mars and Virgo is badly aspected with, like, Neptune, then there might be some major eating disorders concerning, like, anorexia or bulimia or something like that. Wow, it got kind of deep there. I don't know. But, um, you know, Mars and Virgo really does have this desire for perfection. And so if they have some illusions or are struggling with their perception of their body then they might struggle with that, right? But a lot of the time, um, yeah, Mars and Virgo, they, they get so productive, they get so caught up in certain stuff that they forget to eat. Um, or they tell themselves that they forgot to eat. Um, Mars and Virgo definitely wants to... They they can't feel secure unless their bodies are in order, okay? Um, what else? And so, yeah, you know, they're very critical very perfectionist um and i want to say that's really it like it's very simple these people are not the most complex but they are complex because a lot of the time people might not have the same level of discipline to get their bodies to a state of perfection you know and it can be really unfortunate because what they'll find out is because they wrote people off in the past for not being perfect um when the person does finally reach a level close to perfection or higher than or or, or just like like let's say it's a leo type somebody with strong leo energy where when they reach the fullness of their energy they're just like spectacular Virgo Mars will feel kind of like, dang, you know, they, they missed out. Virgo Mars can miss out on a lot of opportunities because they judge with their eyes. You know what I'm saying? They judge with their their mind instead of um, giving people the benefit of the doubt sometimes. You know, they can be very harsh. Um, and if, like, let's say there is a lot of Leo in the chart, in their chart, and there is, you know, some level of conceit there, a little bit of arrogance there. Then Mars and Virgo, they might feel like they are perfect. You know, they might feel like they are the highest. And they might look down on others as inferior. And it really all comes down to um, knowing that they're not perfect. You know, knowing that they... Because you can't... No matter how much you groom the body, no matter how much you um, try to eat perfectly or whatever, the body will still do things that are unexpected. The body will still do things that you are not necessarily happy about. Things will bother the Mars and Virgo about their body endlessly. And now, and, and what's funny is that even the most cocky, like let's say with the Mars and Virgo who has a lot of Leo in his chart, very conceited and also seeing himself as the highest or whatever, he will still have a level of insecurity that is obvious to people who pay close enough attention. Okay, Mars and Virgo is kind of like endlessly self-conscious there we go self-conscious not insecure but self-conscious and um the self-consciousness can come off as uh it, it can create a major nervous energy here this is for sure nervous energy definitely nervous when it comes to um not like public speaking unless they've really you know done it for years and years and years and become like you know this spectacular public speaker mars and virgo will always kind of have this level of um, self-consciousness that makes them come off as very nervous anyways um and lastly as i was saying about how they dress and how they walk how they move their bodies um 
they're just very unassuming people. I'm not going to lie. Like, they can have this major presence. They can, like, depending on the rest of the chart, you know, these people can be very attractive. They can be very, you know, because they groom themselves very well. Most of the time. Most of the time. Um, some, and this is the thing, though. Mars and Virgo, the thing about Virgo energy, it is, it can be selfless. It can be selfless in the sense that it, it can serve endlessly, okay? Um, now, this is kind of like the higher octave of Mars and Virgo. Mars and Virgo really is inclined towards helping people. Mars and Virgo really does, um, can have a gift for compassion and service. Um, so it's like if these people are not involved in some sort of <clears throat> non-profit work, um, then you can say that they're probably operating from the lower octave because time and time again, I see as Mars and Virgo matures and as they acquire their initial goals in life, they always go into philanthropy of some sort service of some kind where they're giving to those who are less fortunate these can be some of the best uh servants of the public you know people who really do want to help people want to help society it is a really good placement you know um yeah so please do subscribe uh like the video leave a comment let me know do you have mars and virgo um what about this was true or not true let me know I'm sure you will if you have Mars and Virgo. <laughs> um, anyways, I'll talk to you in the next one. Okay. Oh, yes. my. Um, if you would like a consul consultation, I would love, love to do one for you. Um, whether if this is an individual chart reading or a synastry report reading where we, you know, do like a relationship forecast kind of thing. Um, just email me at Stars with Magic. Just look at the, the title of this channel and... You know, write that out at gmail.com. Just take away that, that number sign hashtag thing at the front. Um, starts with magic at gmail.com. Okay, peace. <laughs>